Do you know that even though everyone's talking about switching from gas guzzlers to electric cars, more than 70% of new cars sold in 2023 still ran on good old internal combustion engines? But seriously, have you ever thought about whether electric cars are really worth making the switch for? Well, let's take a trip back to the 1900s when the internal combustion engine was praised for cleaning up the streets choked with horse manure. Fast forward to today, and those same engines are blamed for all sorts of environmental problems. Enter electric vehicles, our shiny new hope for a greener future. But here's the thing, are electric cars really the answer to our climate problems, or do they come with their own set of issues? Sure, swapping out gas guzzlers for clean electric rides seems like a no-brainer, but it's not that simple. Take Toyota's chief scientist, Yul Pratt, for example. He's not buying into the whole electric car craze, and he's got the math to back it up. According to Pratt's calculations, having a mix of gas-powered and hybrid cars actually results in fewer emissions overall compared to going all-electric. That's why Toyota's not jumping on the electric bandwagon just yet. They're all about finding a balance, which means they're focusing on making hydrogen-powered vehicles instead of going full-on electric. Now, let's talk about the areas where EVs really shine. According to Jordan Beaker, a senior researcher at the International Council on Clean Transportation, EVs have a significant advantage over ICEs when it comes to carbon emissions. His research shows that, on average, medium-sized EVs emit much less carbon than ICE vehicles. In Europe, it's around 66 to 69 percent lower. In the U.S., it's 60 to 68 percent. In China, it's 37 to 45 percent. And in India, it's 19 to 34 percent. These differences mostly come down to the mix of energy sources used to generate electricity, with more renewables leading to even greater climate benefits. Hybrid electric vehicles, while still cleaner than ICEs, don't perform as well as pure EVs. And here's some more good news. As renewable energy sources become more common in electricity grids, EVs will only get cleaner over time. According to Beaker, the key to reducing emissions from transportation lies in using both renewable energy sources and electric powertrains. But hold on, there are some important things to consider. How quickly national electricity grids shift to renewables and how EV batteries and materials are sourced and produced will play a big role in how beneficial EVs are now and in the future. Now, looking beyond just emissions, scientists warn us about something called planetary boundaries, nine thresholds that humanity is dangerously close to crossing. These include things like land use change, pollution, and freshwater use, all of which are affected by cars, whether they're electric or gas-powered. EVs versus ICE. Cars are incredibly complex machines with thousands of parts. While EVs have fewer parts than ICE vehicles, they still require sourcing, crafting, shipping, and disposing of materials, which all have environmental and social consequences. Plus, the demand for metals like cobalt, copper, nickel, and lithium, which are crucial for EVs, is expected to skyrocket in the coming decades. How these metals are mined and processed matters a lot for the environment, and if it is to be looked into the EV market might face some serious challenges. Now, speaking of challenges, EVs in colder climates face some unique issues. People who own EVs in colder climates have been reported to experience reduced battery performance and slow charging rates. Well, the truth is cold weather can significantly reduce battery performance and, of course, battery range because batteries don't like extreme temperatures. Despite the challenges posed by cold weather, advancements in EV technology have sparked the development of some clever strategies to tackle these issues head-on. One such innovation is preconditioning. This nifty feature allows drivers to remotely heat or cool the interior of their EV while it's still plugged in, meaning you can step into a comfortably warm car without draining the battery when you hit the road. Then there's battery thermal management systems, which are game changers. These smart systems keep the battery pack at the perfect temperature, no matter what the weather's doing outside. By actively regulating temperature fluctuations, they optimize battery efficiency and help maximize the vehicle's range, especially in chilly climates. But is the lithium-ion battery really sustainable? You see, lithium-ion batteries are the powerhouse behind electric cars, and as the name suggests, lithium is a crucial component in making these batteries. However, lithium isn't exactly abundant on our planet, which poses a significant challenge for mass-producing EVs. This scarcity of lithium is one of the reasons why Toyota has been cautious about diving headfirst into the EV market. They foresee a looming shortage of lithium as EV production ramps up, 
which raises concerns about where this essential element will come from. To tackle this issue, Toyota suggests a smart solution, focusing on smaller batteries for hybrid cars instead of larger ones for pure electric vehicles. This not only helps stretch the limited lithium supply across more batteries, but also results in hybrid cars emitting fewer emissions than traditional gas-guzzling vehicles. Looking ahead, Toyota's insights shed light on what the future might hold for all electric vehicles. Jill Pratt, from Toyota, points out that transitioning solely to EVs could strain the world's metal resources needed for battery production. Besides lithium, there will be increased demand for other key metals like nickel and manganese, potentially driving up battery price east and consequently vehicle costs. And let's not forget about government incentives that currently make EVs more affordable. These subsidies won't last forever, leaving automakers like Toyota wary of relying solely on them. Now shifting gears a bit, let's talk about hydrogen. It's the most abundant element in the universe and boasts the highest specific energy density of any non-nuclear power source. Hydrogen is plentiful, non-toxic, and can be generated from various sources. Plus, it can be stored indefinitely and transported relatively easily. Millions of tons of hydrogen are already produced and used safely each year, and it's finding its way into various applications, including electric cars, ships, trains, and even buildings. The safety of handling hydrogen has improved significantly, making it a promising alternative to fossil fuels. In fact, there's ongoing testing to develop hydrogen-fueled aircraft, showcasing its potential to revolutionize transportation. Now, let's look at Toyota's perspective. So, while the future of electric vehicles may seem uncertain, with concerns about lithium shortages and battery price is, Toyota's perspective offers valuable insights. And with hydrogen emerging as a promising alternative, the automotive industry could be on the brink of another major transformation. Indeed, hydrogen emerges as a compelling contender in the race towards sustainable transportation. While the production, compression, and dispensing of hydrogen do require energy, this can be offset by leveraging surplus renewable energy that might otherwise go to waste. Moreover, advancements in technology now allow for the emission-free production of hydrogen, ensuring its sustainability as a fuel source. One fascinating aspect is the emergence of on-site hydrogen production at refueling stations, utilizing electrolysis powered by 100% renewable surplus energy. These stations, often contained within portable units, eliminate the need for deliveries and produce zero emissions throughout the entire process. By sourcing power from green tariffs or on-site renewable sources like solar or wind, these stations exemplify a truly sustainable approach to fueling vehicles. Toyota, recognizing the multifaceted nature of reducing vehicle emissions and meeting diverse transportation needs, has strategically invested in various solutions. Hydrogen forms a crucial component of Toyota's Beyond Zero campaign, reflecting the company's long-standing commitment to advancing hydrogen fuel cell technology. Toyota's journey with hydrogen fuel cell technology traces back to the early 1990s, culminating in significant milestones such as the unveiling of the FCHV-1 concept in 2002 and the subsequent launch of the world's first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, the Toyota Mirai, in 2014. The Mirai, boasting a sleek design and an impressive range of approximately 300 miles on a single tank of hydrogen, marked a pivotal moment in Toyota's hydrogen initiative. Fast forward to 2020, and Toyota introduced the second-generation Mirai, featuring enhancements in performance, range, and design. With an estimated range surpassing 400 miles, the new Mirai underscores Toyota's unwavering dedication to advancing hydrogen fuel cell technology. Beyond passenger vehicles, Toyota envisions a future where hydrogen extends its reach to various sectors, including commercial trucks, buses, and maritime applications. Initiatives like Project Portal demonstrate Toyota's proactive exploration of hydrogen fuel cells in heavy-duty transportation, aiming to curb emissions and reduce dependence on fossil fuels. In essence, Toyota's relentless pursuit of hydrogen fuel cell technology reflects a broader commitment to sustainable mobility, offering promising solutions for a greener future. All right, guys, that wraps up our video for today. What are your thoughts on Toyota's stance on hybrid vehicles? And do you think transitioning all internal combustion vehicles to EVs in the coming decades will be sustainable? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.